Hey there. So this is just a follow-up video uh, from my Instagram TV video about the fly press. Um, I wanted to take just a minute and talk a little bit more about fly press tooling and how I make it. So what you see here on the anvil are some blocks of one inch square mild steel and some one inch round bar. These are one inch collars, adjustable or um, I'm not sure how to, what they're really called. I'll put a link to them in the video below, but um, these are just collars that fit onto one inch round stock. So when you're in the fly press, the upper tool in the top ram needs to have a collar or a washer or something to sit against. So if this fist is the ram, your tooling is gonna to fit in the bottom of the ram and it needs something like a shoulder to sit against. So I use these collars on one inch round stock as the shoulder to sit the tool into the fly press at the proper depth. That lets the force of the fly press ram rest on this collar and that keeps this from upsetting inside the fly press. So the massive force that a fly press is pushing down on this tool. If you have this too long and pushed up in the ram, it can upset this tool and then get it stuck. So you need some kind of a shoulder to prevent that from happening. This is just an S7, uh, I think it's called a pill punch. And I put a collar on it, tack welded the collar, and now that is a ready-made fly press punch. So that's, that's how I make uh, fly press tools out of round bar. I take round bar, I cut it to a specific length, I put a collar on it, and then you can weld whatever you want to on the other side. Or you can do like I was talking about in the other video, you can buy a one inch bolt and just weld whatever you want to be your die shape on the bottom of that particular bolt. I do grind off a flat spot on the threads of this bolt so that the screw that holds the tooling in place in the fly press ram has a flat place to, uh, to secure it. Um, and again, this, the head of this bolt is acting as the shoulder to prevent this part of, the, of this tool from being upset into the bottom of the ram. So on a tool like this, the hex head is fulfilling the same purpose that this uh, collar fulfills. So uh, a lot of times I'll also use this square bar to make bottom tooling for my uh, fly press and it goes, that stuff goes into the hardy hole of my bolster plate on my fly press. So let me demonstrate what that looks like um, at the fly press itself. This, uh, this bolt right here is what holds the tooling into the ram. So if I loosen this bolt, that top tool should just fall right out and there's a, a washer. I use that washer to spread force out along the bottom end of this ram so that, um, so that I'm not pushing this collar too hard uh, on the bottom of the ram to just, just to protect the bottom of that ram. So this is an example of a piece of round bar that I used a, a collar on. Um, it's just a short piece of round bar with a collar and then the shape welded onto the top end of the round bar. And this goes into the bottom of the ram. So the tool can only go in as far as the collar allows it. And I generally, again, use a, a washer on there. And so tool goes up in there, you tighten it down with the nut again, and it's held in place. Again, real simple tooling, just a piece of round bar one of those collars and then whatever shape you want to put on it. As far as bottom tooling, again, I use square shank and I have a bolster plate, which is just a um, one inch thick plate with a square hole in the middle. It's secured to the bottom of the fly press with clamps and that allows tooling to slip into that hard, hardy hole, just like the hardy hole on an anvil. So um, you just need to make sure that your bolster plate is lined up uh, on the top And there you go. So once that's all lined up, you secure your tooling in place and you're ready to start forging with your fly press. Um, 
This is just a really simple hardy hole and uh, top ram receiver tooling. There is so much different kinds of tooling that you can put underneath a fly press, jigs and um, different ways to secure uh, fixtures down here that um, I don't have time on the video to go into it. Um, if you go and search for a guy named John Rigoni, uh, he's got a couple of videos with some really excellent, excellent uh, examples of tooling underneath the fly press to uh, accomplish specific tasks. One of his, one of the best videos I've seen him do um, is how he makes his bottle openers using a fly press. And uh, I'll put a link in the video to that uh, as well. So anyway, um, yeah, that's, that's just simple fly press tooling and how I make it. So hope that helped. Bye.